bring over the free kick. And it is Robson who flights it, and a first-time header from David White, who is not the tallest man, but he got it well there and got a clear header on goal. Yeah, straight ball in. I mean, they knew what was going to happen. It was a straightforward in-swinger there. You see the marking. White gets in front there. to get a chance in here might be a goal for them. Donovan drives it into the side netting. Well, it was one of those that uh, came to him very quickly. Could have gone in, could have gone in. Bisecting the two Charlton players, and Smith did well. I thought he might have taken it on a shade further, but it was a good low cross. Give credit to Mortimer for tracking back Donovan. White and now Brown. Robson... Might try and tease the defence here and use his pace to get a good cross in. Here's a chance for Nelson, and the head is smothered on the line by Naylor. Well, well done, Robson. He got behind his left back quite easily with a lovely little trick. And I just feel Nelson might have done better with the header. It was a well-flighted ball. Here we see it, foot over the ball. Lovely ball, deep to the back post. The defender caught a bit square. He was, lost his man, O'Regan. Just in front of us. Let's hope that she enjoys the uh, second half as much as you're going to do at home, I hope you are anyway, and here go Charlton with Keith Jones, and certainly it'll stop people talking about this TV jinx if Charlton do get a win, and here's David White, and a good uh, try from White, he made it all for himself there, and that was a good try. Good at jinking, twisting and turning, there he's going one way, then the other way, that's fine forward play. Comfortable grounds, uh, grounds to take clubs on into the next century. And there you see, here's a chance, this might be the moment for Albion's Holt, and he's got to roll it past the keeper, Salmon, and he couldn't do so. And all credit there to Mike Salmon, who's had virtually nothing to do in this match. Uh, really, you've got to say Hunt should have gone there. The second flick by Reese has really put Hunt in. Brown doesn't seem to be treading water. I, I felt at that stage, the goalkeeper did marvellously well to stay on his feet, but I really do think Hunt spurned a marvellous... Ashcroft and Hunt and Ashcroft again he's got past Brown this time and a dangerous ball but too long oh, might scrape in, or scrape in the far upright just for a moment Reese, lovely little back here this has opened the way and this could be Donovan here he uses his turning power well to come out for Brown he could unleash a shot with his left foot oh and it takes a deflection and Charlton had a chance and White still unable just to get in there and now Robson tries to curl one but it's straight into the midriff of Naylor well, they were hanging on just a little Albion defence then yeah Naylor did well I feel to get to the uh, to the first effort here we see it again it's Brown that comes in got a wicked deflection came off the Charlton player last White I believe it that was the that was the crucial touch the second touch that took it away from Nelson that was a very fine save Lovely shot of the Hawthorns under lights. Mortimer toiled very hard in the first half. And through it goes here for Nelson. And the defender slipped, and yet Nelson still got the chance to play himself in and drive in a goal. Gary Nelson for Charlton Athletic. And Charlton get the lead that their football has deserved with Gary Nelson's first goal since one against Tramir back in November. The captain coming inside, could quite hold it, greasy ball maybe, but he's done well in the first place, I feel, because that was clever. The dive in of little wall defender was rather silly, I felt, and then he's come across Raven and he's whacked that ball firm and fiercely, and... Um, Stuart Naylor couldn't hold on to that. And I think it's a just reward, really, for Charlton, who've been the more solid side and have passed it more sensibly and more effectively. Now we'll see a real game, because Albion have got to come out. Albion leading a goal. Um, Ashcroft's free kick. And the plenty of bodies in there, and a spectacular stop from Salmon. I'll refrain from using the word leaping. It was Raven's header. But he gets up well, and Albion still looking for this equaliser, have a corner kick. And again, the, the tall men are in there, that was Marden. Ashcroft, 
ships another one up on there might be a chance here for an equaliser wonderful stuff again Taylor's shot and he looks to the heavens and wonders how on earth Mike Salmon kept that out well and he swooped like a salmon twice but uh, here we see it it's a lovely little flick confused the defenders good early shot wonderful save Taylor alongside Reese, but there's still chances for Charlton you feel to get a second goal the way they're playing oh. well <laughs> Gary Nelson is going through the routine he certainly didn't expect Blue was at the end just look at this heart-stopping moment for the goalkeeper that first touch and if he's watching free kick for Charlton looking for a second goal and coming at the back post Barmer and Albion's defence caught napping. Good free kick, good late run by Balmer too. Albion don't look too clever in the covering positions. O'Regan and Millwall at fullback. Here we see that ball, clears everyone. And that's hit the post. Oh. Sure what was behind him and he flicked it back. He got after it quick and whacked it down the field. And that's good defending. That's a good ball. And here goes Ashcroft. Oh! shot and he deserved better reward flicked off the outside of the upright and when that sort of thing happens you wonder if he's ever going to go in for them as a, a fine shot and uh, you felt he could have taken it on but he really let his leg go back and um, he ripped into that one splendid it was a lovely layoff in the first place i think it was reese that put him onto that ball terrific shot mortimer bennett furious ball from bennett They're still uh, winning plenty of possession, and Bennett shot almost whistled to the right of Tony Lang, and the goalkeeper who's just come on always wants to have to make a save. Bennett, once well, got a big money player. Yeah. Well, this a moment ago was the shot by Mickey Bennett, well plucked out of the air by Tony Lang. Now Nelson, scorer of the game's only goal so far. Brown. Go for the ball through the middle, and what a good ball it is, and Mortimer could wrap it all up for Charlton here. Still Paul Mortimer, oh, and a terrific intervention by Marvel prevents Albion going to certain defeat. Well, that's a great clearance, isn't it? I mean, Mortimer's done all the hard work, he threatened to shoot with his good foot, his left. It's a marvellous ball by Brown. He's not offside, he's taking it, he's about to shoot, comes back inside, and then you'd fancy him. It was a lovely shot, but uh, splendidly saved by Marvel. Too languid this time. It comes away for Bennett. And Bennett and White make progress, and away he goes. And now can Mickey Bennett finish it for Charlton with a second goal? The keeper, Lang, makes a sprawling stop, and Charlton really should have been home and dry by now. That's a great surge by Bennett, and the, he definitely showed a lack of pace there in the Albion back line. But here's the moment when Bennett might have clinched it. Yeah, he, he cut across him well there. Uh, it was a good stop. It was a good stop. He just lost his angle. It was a little bit straight at the last minute. And now White's leaving the field. Do everything hastily now. And Ashcroft will receive the pass from Bradley. And plays it first time up there. But Albion have been beaten. And the jinx is over for Charlton Athletic, who win on live television for the first time in 48 years since the FA Cup final of 1947. A single goal in the second half by Gary Nelson was enough to send those Charlton fans happy back down the motorway to South London.